Well, good evening. It's lovely to see you all here this evening for our concert. Uh, we can see on stage we have the Perth Fortress Band. Uh, we're going to uh, be joined by a guest tonight, Dr. Brett Baker, who I'll talk a little bit more about very soon. And we've also got some guests from Kareen Senior High School uh, in the choir. So we've got a bit real treat tonight in the uh, musical selection. We've got a bit of brass band, some solo trombone. Uh, we're also going to have uh, Brett playing with a piano accompanist as well, uh, as, long as, uh, as well as our choir, and the choir is also going to be uh, singing along with the band. So we're in for a real treat this evening. That first piece of music that we've just played is a piece of music called Elecom. Uh, it was a festival pre prelude that was written by William Himes, who's an uh, American composer, and it's based on the well-known hymn Elecom, which is commonly associated with the words, I sing the mighty power of God. Now, I want to welcome uh, Dr. Brett Baker. Would you come and join me up here, please, Brett? Yeah. <coughs> I'm, I'm sure... It's a habit, you know, I've had to do this three times this week. Yeah. Oh, well, then you're well prepared. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Brett Baker here is uh, the sales director of Dennis Wick and Alliance Products. He's a lead artist for Michael Rath Brass Instruments. He's an established trombone soloist and teacher and a long-serving former principal trombone for the Black Dyke Mills Band, which is, I would arguably say, one of the most famous brass bands in the world. He's now the musical director of the Elland and the Polton Lee Fileld, is that right? Fileld. Fileld bands. Well, I'm glad it's not just me then. Uh, <laughs> he's also the uh, past president and past chair of the British Trombone Society and uh, past secretary and the current chair of the International Trombone Association Research Advisory Council. Gee, that's a mouthful. Do you remember all of that? No. Brett's also an experienced adjudicator. Uh, he's just uh, come back, well, just recently come back from adjudicating the National Band Championships in New Zealand. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why he's, he's come over here to Australia. Uh, also a successful mentor, producer and presenter. And we have the absolute privilege this evening of hearing this fine musician play. He's going to play a number of pieces with the band, a number of pieces with the piano, and uh, he's also going to conduct the band at the end. So we're in for a real treat. So it's lovely to have you, Brett. Thank you so much. A little bit. Uh, so this first piece that he's going to play with us, you can get your place if you'd like. This first piece is a piece called Annie Laurie. And for those of you who know the trombone solo repertoire, you would know this one very well. This trombone solo was written by the virtuo trombone player Arthur Pryor. It's a set of variations that's based on the, co the Scottish song of the same name, Annie Laurie. We hope you enjoy Annie Laurie. Thank you. 
Told you are in for a treat. Fantastic. Let's give him another round of applause, shall we? <laughs> Thank you, Brett. All right, I'm now, uh, I have the absolute privilege uh, and honour to now welcome the Korean Senior High School Choir. Yeah, come up, guys. Um, this, is, this is really special for me because it's the school that I teach at, and uh, it's the first time I've really been able to in involve uh, what I do at school with what I'm doing here at the Salvation Army. So it's really special to have them join us this evening. Their uh, choir director is Mr. Ben Clark, who's making his way to the piano now. And uh, an absolute fantastic musician, and I think we uh, need to give him a round of applause before we even start. Yeah, I'm good at that. I'm putting it on myself as well. It's okay. So uh, this, this choir behind me have just recently come back from a tour to New Zealand. We took the school uh, music department to a festival in Rotorua called Rhapsody Rotorua. Uh, we took five ensembles and the choir was one of those ensembles that went on that tour. Uh, and they received a gold award, which was the highest award they could receive. So uh, very proud of them, and you're really in for a treat with them uh, singing for us tonight. The first piece that they're going to sing for us now is a well-known and loved staple of the choral repertoire, John uh, Rutter's anthem, For the Beauty of the Earth. He composed it in 1978, and it was first recorded by the Cambridge Singers in 1983. We uh, hope you'll enjoy John Rutter's For the Beauty of the Earth.
Thank you very much. The choir are now going to be joined by the band. Uh, this particular arrangement we're going to be doing is a Gough Richards setting of uh, Crimmond, which is based on Psalm 23, well known as the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, so we're going to join together in this stunning arrangement of the absolutely gorgeous tune uh, from Gough Richards. Thank you very much to the choir. You can take your seats again. Thank you. Isn't that something special, being able to do that? All right. We get to hear uh, our wonderful trombone player again, Dr. Brett Baker. Uh, Brett Baker is going to be joined now by his uh, accompanist, Wayne Betts. Uh, Wayne, if we can get you to come up as well. So Brett's going to be uh, presenting us a solo now that was written by Eric Cook in 1954. It's a dazzling trombone solo and it's called Bolivar. Can we please make Brett and Wayne welcome?
Thank you very much. Wayne as well. Thank you, Wayne. Much appreciated. Beautiful playing. <laughs> All right, we're lucky we get to hear Brett play again, this time with the band. This piece we're going to play is called Share My Yoke. It's originally written by Ivor Basanko, and it was written as a cornet solo, and it's based on the song by Joy Webb. This arrangement by our own Ian Jones here this evening is a beautiful arrangement which shows off the lyrical, subtle tone of the trombone. We hope you enjoy Share My Yoke. Beautiful, stunning. Thanks so much, Brett. 
All right. We've got to the uh, time in the night where the band gets to have a bit of a showcase. So our showcase piece for this evening is a piece called Variations on Lord Arte Dominum by Edward Gregson. The theme of this work, Lord Arte Dominum, is a noble hymn tune written by Sir Her uh, Hubert Parry. And it's associated with the words, O worship the King, O glorious above. There are five variations, with the fifth being a figato, which means in the style of a fugue. It introduces the first half of the tune with long notes. The theme is not fully presented until the end, when it is heard in its full majesty, and the music uh, brings a tremendous and climatic conclusion. So this is Edward Gregson's Lord Arte Dominum. Thank you. 
Thank you.
Right, catch my breath. We are, we are almost at interval. We've got one more piece until we are, and trombones, I'll get you to move if you could please. Uh, we've got one final piece uh, for you this evening before our interval, and uh, this is going to feature a trombone octet. All right, so we're going to have eight trombones up on the stage, and uh, we're going to be playing a march, a well-known march by uh, Eric Ball called Star Lake. And this particular arrangement, again, has been done by our wonderful Ian Jones in the band here. And uh, we're lucky we've got Brett with us, we've got the uh, Fortress Band trombone section and just a couple of extra guests joining us as well. After this piece, we will have a 15 or so minute interval. Uh, if you'd like to go back out into the foyer, the cafe will be open. You can uh, grab a refreshment if you wish. Uh, and then we'll be back for our second half very shortly. So this is Star Lake with the eight trombones. Thank you. 
Welcome back. Thank you uh, very much for staying. It's very nice to get in, an audience in our second half. We hope you enjoyed some of the refreshments out there. Uh, thank you to the team on the, the Coffee Booth Cafe for staying open for us. Uh, that piece of music was a march called Praise, and it's uh, by the well-known mar- uh, well Salvationist composer Wilfred Heaton. Uh, it's commonly played in festivals or concerts, not just by Salvation Army bands, but by brass bands uh, all around the world, community bands as well. Uh, we're going to bring Brett back onto uh, the stage and we're going to be playing a piece of music now called Blessed Assurance. The well-known 19th century gospel song, Blessed Assurance, is given a fresh, a fresh treatment in this relaxed samba for solo trombone and band. And it's written by the well-known American Salvationist composer, William Himes. So this is Blessed Assurance. Thank you very much, Brett and Band. That's got a good ring to it, Brett and Band, doesn't it? Uh, right, we're going to bring the choir back up. Come on, girls. So the, the choir are going to give us two pieces now. The first piece is a piece called Fire's Eyes. Uh, Five Eyes is a composition by Cecil Armstrong Gibbs and was composed in 1917 uh, with the words by Walter De La Mare. Belongs to a group of three songs, including The Little Green Orchard, Five Eyes, 
and A Song of Shadows. This piece, Five Eyes, is a story of three black cats, one of which only has one eye, hence the name Five Eyes. Following on from that, uh, they're going to be bringing us a song called Somewhere Only We Know. Somewhere Only We Know is a song that's composed and performed by the English alternative rock band Keen. Officially, it was released as the first single from their debut album, Hopes and Fears, in 2004. The single peaked at number three on the UK singles chart during its first week of sales, becoming the band's signature song and biggest hit sing single to date. It's composed by Tim Rice Oxley, Tom Chaplin and Richard Hughes. This arrangement this evening for choir is written by the choir's director, Ben Clark. So we hope you enjoy Five Eyes and Somewhere Only We Know.
Wow, isn't, isn't it just stunning? Absolutely stunning. Well done, girls. Let's give them one more round of applause. <laughs> All right, we're going to welcome uh, Brett and Wayne back. We've got another solo with Brett, accompanied by Wayne. This song is uh, Ye Banks and Ye Braes. The Scottish traditional folk song was uh, specially arranged for Brett by Keith Wilkinson, who is the musical director of the Brass Band of the Western Reserve, uh, who Brett has performed with as a soloist on various occasions. So it's uh, very nice to have Wayne back. Wayne, yes, Wayne and Brett with <laughs> Ye Banks and Ye Braes. Thank you once again, Wayne and Brett. All right, we are coming sort of towards the end of our concert. We've got a couple of items left. Uh, but this next solo that's Brett, that Brett's going to uh, play with the band, this really is a showstopper. Originally written as a cornet solo by John Hartman, this arrangement for trombone and brass band, again, has been arranged by our very own Ian Jones. Uh, it's a virtual... Yeah, don't give him too much of a... No, absolutely. Thank you, Jan. Yeah. We are very blessed to have uh, such a talented person in our band. 
In fact, Ian writes a lot of arrangements for this band and it really is a, a special thing for us to be able to show, showcase his music. Uh, so this is a virtuosic masterpiece that sees the soloist presents the theme. Men of Harlech, would you like to say something? No. Oh, I suppose not. <laughs> um, it's been great to come over here after about 12 or 13 years. It's taken that long to get here. I was coming over in 2020. That didn't work out because of a certain pandemic. I mean, of all the things to stop me coming over. So, um, but I'd just like to say, um, I used to come over here. <laughs> the two times I've come over, I should really be traumatized because a person called Lindsay Palmer used to always get some ridiculously difficult pieces for me to play. Um, and so I used to go away from here exhausted. Anyway, this is one of those pieces. So it's a really, really difficult piece. And uh, I'm really pleased that Ian's arranged it. Um, I've, I've given it a bit of a, a once over in Melbourne. So I've already played it once so that, uh, you know, I've, I've, had, I've had the test run. Mm. So now this is the real deal. So, um, so I wanted to play this for Lindsay, basically. Fantastic. Thanks, Brett. Yeah, a uh, virtuosic masterpiece this piece is, and it's uh, the soloist will present the theme Men of Harlech and a number of variations, uh, and it will show off the phenomenal player that we do have here in Brett Baker. So, this is Men of Harlech. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we've had a lot of treats tonight. I've sort of said this word a, a lot of times, but we really are in for another treat. Uh, we're going to have the choir come and join us, uh, and we're going to even invite you, the audience, your turn to participate. Uh, I know oh, some people are sitting there going, oh, really? We just want to sit here and watch. No, we've got to have the audience participate in some sort of way. So we're going to have the choir and the band uh, combine again for the final time, and we're going to be singing and playing Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a beautiful hymn-like work by the choral uh, trailblazer Sir Hubert Parry, commonly referred to as an alternative English national anthem. Don't, don't say anything to me, any of you English people out there. It's just what I, you know, that's what I think. Do you, do, do you agree with me or not? Yeah, no, some of you say no, some of you say yes. And did those feet in ancient time, also the song's first line and its alternate title, is a poem that's written by William Blake around 1808, which the lyrics of this song are based on. And as I've said, for those of you who feel like joining us, there will be the words up on the screen that you can uh, follow along and we'd love to hear you join in. Thank you very much. Jerusalem.
Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Once again, one more round of applause for our fabulous choir. And you can keep clapping for yourselves because that was some wonderful singing out there as well. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to hand over to Major Aaron Stoby, who's the, the pastor here and the core officer at the church here, and he's just going to say a final few words before our last piece. Thank you, Matthew. Can you put your hands together again for the Perth Fortress Band? <laughs> Under the leadership of our fantastic bandmaster, Matt. Thank you for all of your work. It's wonderful. What a privilege it is tonight for me as one of the leaders here at the Salvation Army Perth Fortress to express my sincere thanks to a number of people. But firstly, can I get you to put your hands together for the wonderful audience? Because even though we would still be playing even if there was no one in the auditorium, it's lovely to see some faces smiling back at us. So thank you very much. I would also like to express my sincere thanks to all of the people who have worked really hard behind the scenes. Advertising, logistics, setup, the cafe space, people who have assisted in practical ways that might not have made it onto the platform tonight. So can we show our appreciation for the behind the scenes team as well. What a special treat for us to have the wonderful choir from the Korean Senior High School. Thank you so much, ladies, for your wonderful contribution. Show your appreciation, absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Wayne Betts, lovely to meet you a few days ago and wonderful to hear you twice now play the piano over a few days. Thank you so much for using your gifts and skills to bless us tonight. Can we show our appreciation? And though we have had our special guest here before some years ago, I do want to express my appreciation and thanks to Ian and Edith Jones for hosting our international guest and all the logistics that went behind that and ensuring that he got to the places he needed to get to. So can we uh, thank Ian and Edith Jones? Thank you. Also, I know they have already received a mention, but uh, I'm a little bit proud. So can we please show our appreciation for the Perth Fortress Band under the leadership of Bandmaster Matt. Thank you. And how incredibly blessed are we here in Perth to have had a night not only sharing with all those who have been mentioned already, but an internationally acclaimed musician who is so much more than just that. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I please get you to show your great appreciation for our special guest, Dr. Brett Baker. Thank you so much. We trust that you have enjoyed the night as much as we have enjoyed hosting you and having you join us here. And just a blessing before the band, uh, before we bring our final item. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And please travel safely. God bless you each and thank you again for coming. Thank you, Aaron. And we are going bring to bring to you our final piece of the evening. And I'm going to invite Brett to come to the front of the band and uh, give my arms a rest, unless as if he's not worked hard enough tonight. So this last piece of music is a really well-known brass band, Salvationist March, Montreal Citadel. Thank you very much to Brett and the Perth Fortress Band. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, at the end of this, travel safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. 